Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have an idea for you using non-holiday stamps to create a Christmas card. I am starting off with the Alta New watercolor dots and this is a nice large panel that I can stamp onto my cardstock and it has little icons in the bottom that I can use. I'm starting off with a panel of Simon Says Stamp fog cardstock and also Simon Says Stamp clear ink and I will be silver embossing my images first. So I am randomly stamping this little star image all over the back panel. I am not using the pattern of the dots yet. I will use those later. So first I want to just do some clear stamping. Then I can sprinkle the whole panel with silver embossing powder and heat that to a shiny finish. I'm using a little bit of adhesive on the back of my panel and I'm using my grid sheet to align this and to hold it in place. Then I can place my watercolor dot stamp right over and I can align that right where I want it. And yes, it's a little bit dirty, but it'll still work just the same. So once I have that aligned, I can shut the door and have the door grab the stamp. I'll be using the Simon Says Stamp white pigment ink to ink up my stamp and I will not be doing embossing this time. So I just want to get this really well inked then I can press this onto that panel and I like to use my sweatshirt or a sleeve to get some really good pressure. The white pigment ink will sit on top of those embossed stars so I'm just using a little bit of a paper towel to wipe it off. And here's how the layered stamping looks so the stars look like they are on top of the white dots. I cut a triangle from some red cardstock to add to my tree and I just cut that out with my scissors. I've added a little bit of foam tape just to lift this up off that background and put that in place just to the right. I've also trimmed up about a half an inch by four and a quarter piece of slate cardstock and I will set this just on top of the tree. To lift this up I am putting some foam tape just on each side of that strip so it straddles the tree. I have die cut believe from the Alta New Holiday script words and I've used my favorite silver silk paper from Tonic. If you cut that about three times and stack them up with some glue, it gives you almost a chipboard effect. So I'll be using my Simon Says Stamp Crafty Glue to glue this down, and I'll turn this over. I'll be adding glue just to the bottom portion since it'll be sitting on that slate strip and hanging over the top. And keep a lookout for your dot for your eye and just add a little bit of glue and put that in place. To finish this card off, I've added a silver dot to the top of the tree and some glossy accents as bulbs. It does kind of look like a Santa hat to me, so I'd like your opinion. Is it a tree or is it a hat? So I hope you've enjoyed this real quick tutorial on how to use non-holiday stamps to make your holiday cards. And as always, thanks so much for watching.